I'm going to be showing you how to create a password protected libguide. When you're in, um, when you've signed in and are in edit mode in libguides, we're going to come to the blue rectangle in the upper left corner of the page, click the drop down, and we're going to choose the libguides from the drop down menu. In the center column under LibGuides Shortcuts, you'll see a plus sign in Create Guide. We're going to click there. For Choose Layout or Reuse, we're going to start fresh. For Guide Name, we ask that you start with your school name and then the title of the guide. Guide description, you can fill this out, but you don't have to. We're going to keep the guide type general purpose. And we do want to assign to a group. You want to choose your school from the drop down menu so that it has your um, LibGuide banner in colors. And here's where we're going to put the password for our password protected guide. If the guide is for students, we recommend that you make the um, the password, the same as your school mascot in all lowercase letters. If it's only for a group of students or the staff, make the password something they can easily remember. We're going to keep the guide internal and create guide. Click create guide when finished. I don't need to have my profile box on this guide, so I'm going to click the X, and then I'm going to click I understand that this cannot be undone. Only your main guide and possibly your annual report guide need to have a profile box on them. Now's the time when you're going to curate the content for this guide. When you're finished curating and you're ready for um, this guide to be published, and to link it to your main one. We're gonna come up here to the red rectangle in the upper right side of the page. We're gonna click on the drop down and choose change status and share. Next to publication status, we're gonna change it to private because this is a password protected guide. We don't want somebody to be able to do a general internet search and find this guide. I'm gonna click save. You'll notice it turns green momentarily. I'm going to keep share guide content internal. And I'm going to click close. From here, I'm going to copy this URL. This is the permalink to going to your guide. Use this link and not the one in your address bar. Once I've copied it, I'm going to come over here to the blue LibGuides rectangle again, and I'm going to choose LibGuides. Here in the middle, this time I'm going to choose Edit Existing Guide, and I'm going to go to my main guide where I want to link this one to. I'm going to add a new page for this guide. I'm going to type in the title. I'm going to keep it a top level page. I don't need a disc, um, profile box. I don't need to click draft mode because I'm just going to be um, linking this one to my new guide. I'm going to click save. On this page, I'm going to click the three gears next to page, the drop down menu. I'm going to choose the second one from the top, redirect URL. I'm going to paste that URL that I copied on my new guide. I'm going to click next to open redirect URL in new window, and I'm going to click save. 
I'll see a large blue rectangle in the middle and it says this page has been recon has been configured to redirect visitors to and you'll see the URL that I just put in. And it says you're seeing this message because you're in edit mode. If you'd like to make sure your URL redirect URL works, click the I preview. And we do want to check and make sure it works correctly. So I'm going to click the I. And now I'm going to see where I need to enter my password. Type it in to make sure it works and click go. And then it will open to my new guide that you just created. You've now learned how to create a password protected guide. If you need any additional help, please don't hesitate to contact me at 485-7770 or you can email me at sarah.ohare at jefferson.kyschools.us and I'll be happy to help.